Begin by safely raising and supporting the vehicle. If you need additional assistance with that procedure, please follow the link at the end of this video. With the vehicle safely lifted and supported, remove the rear engine transmission cover by removing the six 8mm bolts, red and yellow arrows. The forward bolts also help hold the middle engine tray in place, yellow arrows. Use a 13 mm socket and remove the drain plug and crush washer, red arrow. This bolt does not need a lot of torque, but for some reason people really tend to over tighten the drain plug. Use care as the oil should be quite warm when coming out. The flow of the oil will change as it starts to empty, so don't just put your drain pan underneath and walk away. When all the oil has drained, install a new drain bolt and crush washer and torque to spec. I do this now so I don't forget later. Remove the 16 E10 torque bolts as indicated by the red arrows. Unless the sealant has completely failed, the pan will stay firmly affixed to the engine. If you did not want to install the drain plug and washer at this point, at the very least install the old one, red arrow, to prevent accidental spilling of oil out of the plug while you are removing the bolts, yellow arrow, and the pan. With all of the bolts off, you will need to use one of them to screw into the forcing bore, which is located on the front of the pan. Red arrow looks like a small nut welded on the pan. This will force the pan away from the motor and help break the seal. Use a series of wedges, red arrow, and once the bolt has started to separate the pan from the engine. The factory sealant has quite a bond, so you may have to use a little heat from a hot air gun to help you if you have one. Whatever you do, do not place anything metal between the pan and the block. You do not want to scrape or mar the mounting surfaces. Once the pan lets go, be prepared because there will be a little oil left in it. Carefully and thoroughly clean both mounting surfaces on the engine and the pan. Also, if your sealant has gotten into the bolt holes on the bottom of the engine, carefully clean these out. With the pan off, you can see the two parts to the oil level sensor. The connection to the wiring harness, yellow arrow, and the level sensor, red arrow. You can see in this picture the mounting surface of the sump has not been cleaned yet. Green arrow. Do not install the pan to a surface that looks like this. Disconnect the wiring from the sensor by reaching up between the left catalytic converter and unplugging the sensor. Red arrow. Try and clean this area because once you pull the connection out, anything around the sensor will fall through on you. There is a small wire that runs from the sensor to the connection. This wire is clipped in place in the sump area. Use your fingers and unclip the wire from the mount. Red arrow. Use an E10 on an extension and remove the single bolt for the connection piece. Red arrow. Push from above and pull the sensor out from below. Never pull the sensor out by the wire. If you are replacing the connection for some reason, Always install a new O-ring, red arrow. Use your E10 socket and remove the two bolts holding the sensor in place as indicated by the red arrows. The sensor is actually two pieces connected by a wire. Your replacement part should contain both pieces. Installation is the reverse of removal. With the new sensor installed and everything clean and dry, apply a small bead of sealant to the pan and install it. The torque value on the pan is very small, so you don't need to worry about torquing it in a crisscross pattern, but it does not hurt. I've used this sealant for years with great results, and it's available at Pelican Parts. Make sure to carefully follow the instructions on whatever sealant you choose to use, and allow it to dry and seal completely. Also, you do not need to use a lot of sealant. All the extra will do is squeeze out and make a mess outside and inside the cover. 
Installation is the reverse of removal, and don't forget to refill your motor oil. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article, along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.